Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Swan. If you're new here, I like to talk about luxury handbags, shoes, accessories, all sorts of things like that. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to subscribe and come join our luxury family. Today, I figured a good video to kind of kick off 2023, Happy New Year by the way, would be talking about best purchases of 2022. I wanted to do this video at the end of 2022, but it didn't happen that way. So I feel like it's a good way to kick off the new year. The goal that I had for 2022 was to really like buy smarter things that I was actually going to use and things that I really appreciated and were good quality. And I feel like I did a really good job of doing so, especially in reflecting and thinking about what I purchased this year. Uh, this is kind of going to be all over the board. It's not just going to be about handbags. It's going to be stuff that I just liked, but I figured that I would do just kind of everything. And I think I have about like, I don't know how many items I have, maybe like nine, eight, seven, not really sure. Also, before we get started, I unboxed this beauty uh, last week. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to go check it out. I will link it somewhere. But a few people did ask for a comparison between the Birkin 25 and the Birkin 30. So that is gonna be next week's video. I'm actually gonna film it right after I'm done filming this one um, and kind of go through all the details of that. So. If you want to hit the bell notification so that you get notified when I upload new videos, feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, that'll be coming next week. All right, so let's get started. I don't think I'm going to go in any particular order, but I am going to start with a bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Capucines BB. Um, I really, really love this bag so much. Um, and one thing about me with bags, like I tend to buy and sell bags a lot. Uh, so it doesn't mean that it'll be in my collection forever. And the reason that I say that is because if I knew how much I was gonna like this bag, I would have bought one that was in better condition. <laughs> um, basically, I bought one of the cheaper ones off of Fashion File because it has like a decent amount of corner wear. The hardware on the bottom is pretty, pretty used. Um, it's not, it's not in perfect condition, and I would actually sell this bag to get another one that's like this. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if you see that I end up selling it to get another one. Um, but even though I'm saying that this is one of my best purchases, because it definitely is, I found that this size of bag is really nice for going out. I find that this is really easy to wear with my long wool coat that I have. I'll insert a picture because I've definitely worn it with that like multiple times. Um, but I love wearing that as a combo because I feel like with outerwear on, this is really easy to just throw over um, as crossbody bag and just go. I love it. I love the closure. I love how easy it is to get in and out of. Like I love that it has a good amount of space in it. I love that the interior is red. The hardware is gold. I love it. Like this bag is, this bag has everything. The only thing, like I said, I would change is just that I do want one that's in a little bit better condition because like I, you probably can't tell from a distance, but like the wear is pretty visible on this bag. Um, and I don't really mind that for now, but since I really like it so much, I think that I will want to uh, get one that's in a bit better condition at some point, but I really love this bag. I can't say enough good things about it. Next up, something that I use every single day and that I feel like I cannot live without anymore, my AirPods Max, that's what they're called, right? AirPods, AirPods Max. Yeah, AirPods Max. I don't know, I get them confused, Pro, Max, all the, I get them all confused, but I got them pretty early on in 2022. So I have been using these really consistently for like a while now. I wear them during work, so I literally have them on all day. <laughs> um, I take my Zoom calls with them. Um, I, I just love these. The noise cancel on them is incredible. They are absolutely essential on planes. Um, I don't like flying and I don't fly that often, but this makes it a lot better when I do fly. Um, it just really cancels out that like loud, like humming noise of the airplane. And this is just, it just kind of makes you forget that you're there. I love these so much. If they come out with a like new version of them, even if it's only slightly different, I don't care. I will buy it. These are absolutely 100% worth it. I also wear them at the gym. Um, I, I love them. I, at first I was like, I'm not going to take them to the gym. They're too heavy. Then I started seeing other people at the gym with them and I was like, all right, let's do it. And I can't go back now. I love them so much. I cannot say enough good things about these. I like to listen to a lot of audiobooks and I will just wear these around the house while I'm doing other stuff, listening to books. They're just, they're absolutely amazing. I, I love them so much. <laughs> Next up is a pair of shoes. And this is actually not one of my most worn pairs of shoes this year, but they're one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I got this year. And they, I did wear them quite a bit and they still look like they're like brand new. They look really good. Uh, but you can tell on the bottom that I wore them. So these are my Laura Piana summer, they say I'm on the bottom, summer walk, summer walk charms. Questionable on the order of that naming. Uh, <laughs> I love these. These are in navy blue. 
Um, the tops, they look like I've, they've like never been worn. From the bottom, you can tell they've been worn, but like from the top, okay. Um, I love these shoes. They're so comfortable, but let me warn you, and this might not happen to you because I didn't hear anybody else mention it, and I don't see a ton, a ton of videos about these. Um, when I first tried, when I first wore these, I wore them out for the first time and I immediately got terrible blisters and I didn't realize how much of a break-in period they needed. Now that they're broken in, they're super comfortable. I love them a lot. Um, but yeah, now leave some time to break them in. Don't just go out and think that you're going to walk around all day the first day that you have them. Uh, next up, this is something that I actually bought before. You know, I don't know if I bought this in 2022. I'm going to be honest. I think I might have purchased it the year before. Um, but either way, it's one of my most used items this year. Um, this is my Lululemon fanny pack, my belt bag. Uh, the one that kept like selling out quite a bit this year and I didn't realize that it was going to become so popular I literally just bought it because I saw it at a Lululemon store <laughs> and I thought it was cute And then I saw that this became like a really big thing and I actually use this all the time um, I wear it to the gym. I wear it grocery shopping. I wear it a bunch of different places This thing is like I have this on me like quite often. So I really love this This is was like I think it's like $37 and then I got another one for $19 at the outlet so just, you can't beat it. For the price, you can't beat it. All right, so I think that these next two items win for the most worn shoes um, of the year. And that is gonna be, first of all, my Golden Goose sneakers. I purchased these. Um, they weren't like worn, but they were, I guess I purchased them pre-loved. Um, they hadn't been worn before, it didn't look like, but I got them from The Real Real. Uh, and I wore these constantly. I love them so much. They're so comfortable. Like, I don't think that I would, I don't know if I'd buy like a second backup pair or anything like that. Cause I feel like these, these fit when I need them to fit. Like they, that's it. And I don't really need a second pair or anything. My other shoes that I alternate with for like just regular sneakers are Air Force Ones. Um, so yeah, I feel like between these and then the Air Force Ones, like that's a good, it's a good like sneaker rotation right there for now. But I wore these tons and tons of times in 2022 and I absolutely do not regret how much I paid for them. Um, they were cheaper uh, pre-loved than in retail, than on retail, but I don't remember how much I paid for them. Um, either way, I don't regret it because I really love these. I bought these because of TikTok, I'm gonna be honest. I bought these because of TikTok. I'm thinking about doing a whole video on trends that I kind of fell into and actually ended up loving because this is one of them. Um, when I was in high school, like the Uggs were, that's when Uggs like were popular. They were really popular and it was the taller ones though. Like it was either the Uggs that were like this tall or the Uggs that were like tall, tall. This, this little short mini Ugg looked so weird to me. And I was like, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get the regular mini, not the ultra mini. And I kept telling myself, I'm not going to get these. I'm just going to get the regular Uggs. Like then I saw people with them at yoga and I was like, Ooh, that looks cozy because they just like wore them in. Um, took them off, you know, like put them in the little cubby and then like went and I was like, oh, I could wear like cozy shoes to go to yoga. These might, this might be it. Uh, and that's why, that's honestly why I ended up buying them. It's because I saw other girls with them at the gym and <laughs> I wanted some. I bought them and now these are some of my most worn shoes. I wear these all the time. If I just have to run out the house to go do something, I'm putting these on. Like it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. I'm literally just throwing these on and going. These are fantastic. They're absolutely fantastic. Next up, I only have a couple more items, but next up, I gotta take it off because I'm constantly wearing it. This is my Apple Watch Ultra. The band needs to be cleaned, don't judge me. I got this watch on Black Friday. Um, this was a Christmas present, an early Christmas present from my grandparents. And I don't know, this is gonna sound weird because I don't know if I would have, I don't think I would have bought this with like, my own money. I would have bought the regular Apple Watch instead because had an Apple Watch, I was using the Apple Watch 3. I would have gone with the 8 or whichever one came out most recently because uh, it was cheaper. But you know what? My grandma was like, if you just just try it, just get the get the bigger one. It must be better. Like, <laughs> so I did. And I love it so much. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't tell you what it does all that differently than the regular Apple Watch. It is probably really similar. Um, in reality, so like I don't know if it's even worth the extra money, but it's a flashlight, okay? I have used this so many times. That's what like my little programmable activity button does. The other thing that I really like about it is that the screen is giant 
And also the charge lasts forever. My problem with the Apple Watch 3, the whole reason that I upgraded it in the first place was just because it didn't hold a charge very well. Like I was having to charge it uh, like multiple times a day. Like the battery was just done on that watch. So I wanted something that has a long lasting battery because I'm constantly wearing an Apple Watch and this does it. It just does cool things and I like it and I have no specs to back that up for you, so. I, I don't really know how it's better than the other Apple Watch. It's probably just as good, and I'm probably just happier because I have a newer one than the three. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, this is probably, this is up there. I don't know, this might be the, this might be like my best purchase of 2022, and that is my Breville Barista Express. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I have started making an espresso in the morning, and now I feel like I can't live without it. Um, it has become an addiction and I absolutely love it. It's super fun to make coffee in. Um, I am not like an espresso, um, like, uh, you know, people who are like very serious about it. I don't know a ton about espresso. I know the basics though, and I'm learning more. And like now I get to create all these like cute little drinks and I make some cappuccinos and they're so cute. Um, and I love it. I love it so far. The taste delicious. Uh, the machine is really fun to use, like it makes a lot of cool noises, uh, you gotta measure stuff out, like use a food scale, like it's a whole process and I feel like I'm really into it and I want to learn more about it. Um, and I've had it for maybe like, maybe like three months or so now and it has become a part of my life and I love it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna end it there because I don't want to make this video too, too long. Those are some of my favorite things that I purchased in 2022. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, if you feel like following me on Instagram, I will put my Instagram on the screen. Uh, it's Kate Swan. I like to post a lot of stories there and I'm pretty active. So if you want to come hang out there too, we have a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.